Carl from Sightel here. My first question to you, if you don't know about this, is where have you been? Today, we're going to have a quick talk about the CrowdStrike glitch that recently took place. So one of the biggest cybersecurity glitches in modern times took place last week Friday, the 19th of July. A seemingly routine patch that CrowdStrike were pushing through turned into a full-blown cybersecurity incident with a global impact. So what happened? And more importantly, what can we learn from this? So let's first break down the glitch. So CrowdStrike, for a bit of background information, they're a world leader in endpoint protection. They pushed through a small patch to fix a minor update. Unfortunately, instead of patching things, it made them a lot worse, and it left an estimated 8.5 million devices with the famous blue screen of death worldwide. The repercussions were huge, and it included grounded flights, disrupted broadcasting services, as well as healthcare and banking providers not able to perform their day-to-day functions. What's even more scary, potentially, is that this global impact of 8.5 million devices is only a maximum of 1% of the world's Windows devices. So, how does this happen? Well, I'm Kyle from Sightel. We talk about compliance, and it's absolutely a result of compliance, or potentially some gaps thereof. So, in an organization as big as CrowdStrike, I've seen a lot of articles recently saying, oh, it was the intern. But unfortunately, that doesn't just happen. There's too many layers. So we're going to unpack four red flags that could have gone wrong in this situation. This includes testing, scanning, reviews, and rollouts. So firstly, a patch that ultimately will be on so many devices has to go through thorough testing. You can't just bypass this process. Testing takes place in a non-production environment. This ensures that if you break something, this scenario that's unfortunately happened doesn't materialize. Then let's talk about scanning. There are so many automated tools in this day and age. You can scan your networks, environments, even your source code. Scanning should help identify these issues, flag and prevent them before they go live. Review. So like we made mention of earlier, someone in an organization of this size cannot simply create a change and it ends up in production. There's many levels of review that have to take place. There should be segregation between the person creating the change and the one reviewing and ultimately approving it. That must have been skipped. And finally, rollout. The patch was deployed into production globally on a Friday. That's a somewhat terrifying fact because rollout is often done to a much smaller audience. And in this case, audience just refers to way fewer devices to ensure that if something does go wrong, it impacts far fewer devices and it's a far less widespread outage and that you can easily contain it, repair it, and redeploy the correct package. So the scary thing is what has happened can happen. Sounds silly, but you expect in an organization of this size, it won't materialize, but it can. You can have really good controls and there are small gaps. So what's the key takeaway? Well, At the end of the day, it's a bit of a wake-up call for all of us in a cybersecurity environment. Compliance is often seen as a red tape and it's got a real negative approach to it, but it's your first line of defense against very costly mistakes. This glitch is a reminder, like we've said, the basics can be overlooked and it happens. But if you think compliance is a headache, well, how much bigger is this headache? So after listening to this, if you're worried that you might be at risk, well, What are you waiting for? Get in touch with us today at Cytel and let's hope you avoid these mistakes fast.